The best way to burn fat and get. We are back out here. And we're doing some shoe shopping. Just some amazing deals and steals. Look at this. Basically, some brand new Iverson size 13, 30 bucks. On the Rainbow Trail. Great quality basketball. Here's some more Jordan wheels. They kind of organize things a little bit here. These were in here last time. $85 size. Size 10, dude. That's a steal. We even got these Jordan 3s right here for 50. $50, man. But wait. a little susk. Hmm. It's the Elgin print seems kind of plasticky. Put these here for a second. This is a great value right here. I see. These are 100% authentic, I can tell you. I guess sometimes they'd be buying stuff in like lots, and you know, maybe some of the little stuff gets mixed up, but uh, I'm not sure about this. But these, these are really like, tall, so fat toned, nice material, soft net, and that clean, clear, icy bottom, 130. Aloha Dunks. Right, it's a rare SB. You can see a minor scuff, but that's easy to come off of. The suede is still nice and buttery. The laces are clean. The shoe is still in great shape. One hundred percent stars. It's crazy deals out here. Only eighty bucks. Eighty bucks. I got the Nike on the tongue too. So, so such a good deal. Now these are super, super rare. Forgot what they're called. But drop a comment if you know. Still in pretty good shape. But it's got like that pink patent leather. And that speckling right there on the lace tabs. And then the Jordan Flight. I know they're Jordan 4s. I just don't know what they're actually called. But Chicago uh, Black Tail Worms. Low top. Size 9. 90% stars, 60 bucks. Last time we didn't get a chance to look at the food section, so we're gonna do that today. So real quick, Jordan 12, Varsity Red, all red suede. Six, 60 bucks. And these are some gems. Classics. Spizike. Gucci colorway. 
red green rare shoe To some more classics right here. So six and a half. Orlando tens. These just re-retroed or retroed. See they got the Nike era. But back in the day, the only only pair of this that you can get was the original 1995 edition. So it's good to see that they got these right here. That's a classic. And then we're gonna look at these dunks right quick. Or kind of look like Heineken colorway. Same kind of Heineken green, black. Basically brand new, as you can see. They might actually be brand new. But they're for they're for 50. Travis Scott's, and they got a bunch of designers. These are all authentic right here, by the way. We got some Burberry's right there, and on top. I believe these were here last time. But they put the price down, believe, like last time they were 90. Now they're 75. We come back next time, they might be 60. Then that might be the right time to buy them. But we'll just leave them here for now. Look at that right there. Those are some premium Air Forces. Size 10. Got some sand. They look kind of like back in the day, all the OG sneakerheads, you guys remember? A series of things that Nike was doing called uh, the Year of the Snake, I believe. It had some ones, they had some other, uh, I think there were ones and some other stuff, but basically the patent leather, crazy color. These are like the undefeated, I guess, but it's like the same great quality as those old shoes. Basically, no. These are new. SBs, boy. I don't know what these are called. These things are clean. Super clean. Leather is very soft. Let me know if you think that's a good deal or not. $100, a size 10 and a half. I think that's a great deal, considering the fact that you can't really find them in local shops. Look, they even got this tag. Flight Club. I need your help with right now is to let me know what do you guys think about these. Is this a released colorway that came out? I, they look like the black cements, but I'm not too used to that gold tongue. Don't remember that unless they came out with something new. Also, check this out. I don't know if that's actually lasered in or not, because usually this stuff's supposed to be lasered. But out of all the shoes, I'm this is the one that I'm just kind of a little concerned about. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. This has got to be the, one of the craziest boots I've ever seen. I mean, you got high heels, patent leather, and then you got python skin. And that actually looks real. It does not look like fake Python skin. So it's a boot created by Fashion Nova. Apparently some big brand, but that's just nuts. It's super cool. But uh, right here, it looks like we got a Air Max 97 collaboration of some sort, Nike. No swoosh sign right there, but we got some ventilation and then we have a swoosh sign right there. Um, it's like kind of like a fly knit material. 
but I think they're modern because the air bubbles look really good, nice and clear. $40 is a great deal. That is a great deal. These size 13 black cats. Uh, good price, but just the wrong size for me. And then some Jordan ones back there for 60. Both size 13. Just, I'm trying to stay away from big shoes unless they're heat, heat, or unless they're good condition, or unless they're cheap, cheap. It gotta be heat or cheap. Speaking of heat and cheap though, what? No flipping way. Holy horseshoes. It's a pair of Laney Fives. Look at that classic. A quick question. The shoe is not supposed to be like for like the colorway of the Golden State Warriors, but I think some of them have worn them in the past. Let's see who the real sneakerheads are. Why? are these called the Laney Fives? And what is the significance with this colorway and this shoe personally with Michael Jordan? Drop a comment, let me know. Seriously, an amazing selection down here. We got a pair of low top sixes, black, white, and infrared. Just a nice classic shoe to have. These shoes are very sturdy. And I mean, you, you get your money's worth out of them. They're only 50 bucks too. I mean, you're gonna get your money's worth out of a shoe like this. It's gonna last you a long, long time. The more you look, the more stuff you see, man. And, and this is another another one of those moments where we just seen a pair of Jordan 10s that I've just never seen before. You can see it's got like some type of uh, hemp material, a burlap or something. It's like almost like the same material as the Jordan 11s actually but not as plush or actually but you can see it's got like some type of camouflage on it and they look like they've only been worn once or twice honestly so they're only like 60 bucks and yep looking at the tag it looks like they are authentic that's the best way to tell if you could tell if shoes are real you see that number right there you type in uh on google nike and you put that code in and that code will show you up the shoe and you know you'll see more examples of authentic ones and you can kind of compare yourself but those are cool then we have some like off-white ones which are like i mean i'm sorry off-white vans and these are just super heavy duty i mean you can the, you hear the weight of that one shoe that is a super heavy duty shoe thick heel and uh insane grip actually so 40 bucks man eight and a half not a bad deal at all you got some other vans right there for 20 and you know you got some nike waffles oh smack these are these are some ogs right here this is like actually one of nike's first model that they ever made back in the day like when the company first came out they made these shoes called waffles and you can see kind of why they got their name. Kind of simple design up top. That's very nice. But on the bottom, rumor has it is that they used a waffle maker to make the grip. You can see it looks just like a waffle. <laughs> but that's on that. But we're still looking for the heat. There's heat all over, all over the place. Mm -hmm. guys we do have to head out right there drop a comment let me know what you guys think about these deals and steals let me know if you think i should come back here and try to buy those fours and those sixes let me know a good price you think i should pay